There's been so much that Forge FC has accomplished in its history and the man who has helped guide them throughout that journey through three and a half seasons, Canadian Championships, CONCACAF League, CONCACAF Champions League, and Canadian Premier League, of course. And now we are on the eve of Kyle Becker, 100, the first CPL player to make 100 appearances for his club. And Kyle, we're so grateful to have you here. There's a ton we could talk about. I guess if we could, I'd like to start at the beginning of this journey. What was it about the conversation about the Canadian Premier League playing for this club in the beginning that got you interested? And and how has your time with Forge met or exceeded those expectations? Yeah, I think when those we started to have those early conversations, um, me and Bobby, it was just there was a lot. It was the idea of, of kind of coming back home, being a part of something that was bigger than myself, obviously having the opportunity to work with Bobby and and fully trusting uh, what he's all about, his vision, and, and trying to learn from him and, and knowing that he could, at the point in my career, that he could still kind of take me to to another level. And and again, just the idea of being a part of something uh, so much bigger than myself and, and being on that ground floor of something so big for the, the Canadian soccer community was, it was all very exciting. And obviously, I think even bigger than that, just the chance to come back close to home, be close to friends and family, have them have the opportunity to come uh, come out, watch me play, support me, and and again, just kind of get that stability back. When you think about 100 caps, it's been in Canada, of course, it's been in the Caribbean, it's been in Central America, there's been trophies won, there have been national competitions where Forge has so often become the underdog in those stories and surprise people and then become a dominant force in the Canadian Premier League. What is the match or the moment when you think back on the past 99 matches that you've played that stands out to you the most? I think it's hard to pinpoint one. I mean, just all those things you just listed right there. The fact that in this short history of ours that uh, that this club has in three and a half seasons, the the amount of things we've played, the the, the venues we've played, the competitions we've played, played in, the, the goals we've set, what we've gone out and achieved, it's, it's been unbelievable. Um, I, I don't think you can look further than just that first that first trophy. Um, obviously, when you first start out a, 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 in a, a team like this, everyone's going to have that same goal. Every team came into that first year saying they wanted to be the first ones to lift the trophy. Um, but it's easier said than done. And just the fact that we were able to come together, um, set out on the right foot, go out. There's a ton of ups and downs in that season, but I think we kind of came around, got like a 15, 16 game unbeaten run, and that kind of just propelled us to – to go and do the business and and lifting that trophy at the end of that first year was truly something special. I think it kind of etched our names in history a little bit. It, it set the the standard from what this club's all about, and it's allowed us to kind of kick on from there and just go on and do fantastic things. And I think uh, I think that's probably the the best memory to date. The Canadian Premier League is definitely a pillar in this ecosystem right now for the sport in this country. It's unprecedented growth. I want to ask you, as a captain, as a veteran leader on this team, how have you seen the game around you develop while the CPL has been in its short history? And looking at this team now, this is the first time that Forge has really had to majorly overhaul and retool on the fly. And it seems like you guys are back in your form. Does that speak to the progress of the pool of players available and and the opportunities now for them, Kyle? Yeah, I think with each year, you've seen the quality just continue to get better, both individually and as a whole, as, as each team makes a has a competitive product. Each team can go out and, and showcase themselves against anyone and, and compete and get a result. And that's fantastic. I think that just comes with opportunity. And the fact that now that we're, we're in our fourth season, we've added teams to, to the league. You see there's more op- more opportunities, more door- doors open for these kids to come in and showcase their ability. And it's just something that we never had in this country before. We've had a wealth of talent, but guys have never really had that opportunity to go and, and test themselves at that next level. And that's what the, this league brings. And I think you're going to see guys continue to push the envelope, continue to go over, sign overseas, and and just keep growing the game. And and that's fantastic. That's what this thing's all about. So. I think year in year it's gotten it's gotten better. It's gotten harder for us. We can have to continue to adapt and and keep pushing the envelope because obviously we want to be on that front foot. We want to be at the top of the table and we want to be competing for for trophies at the end of the day. So it's it's forced us to raise our game, forced us to do new things. And and as you said, this year is one of the first ones where we've had such turnover. I think it's nine or ten new faces that we've brought into the fold. So things like that take time, but our principles kind of stay the same. So it's a 
albeit there still are a few faces who've been around here since day one and it's our responsibility to get these guys up to speed so that they can come out and showcase what they're all about and and perform at the highest of their ability and and, and then try and take it to the next level and i think we, we're starting to see that now we're on a nice little run here and it's it's uh it's been fun you mentioned that being able to play close to home professionally was one of the big drawing factors to you. And while it's not quite Oakville, Hamilton in a lot of ways has become home for you. If you could just speak to the community and the club and what an impact it has made on you and your life, both on and off the pitch. Oh, it's fantastic. It's such a unique community. It's such a unique club and and the way that when you kind of take it all back and you look at it as a startup company and that you have that ability to go out and make those real connections with the fans and the fans that we're so lucky to have that have been, that have been here since day one they've supported us for for no reason before we ever won a game they came out they came out in numbers and everything we've ever done they've been there and they've had our back and it's fantastic so to make those real connections with these fans because the the reality is we're not larger than life characters right now and and we can have those connections we can take the time to speak to them we can connect on a personal level and there's so many unique characters that we have in this locker room that can kind of connect with this community this community and and we resonate with them and the fact that these guys show up in numbers they show up for for the tie cats so we knew they were a passionate fan base we know that if we go out and and we work our asses off for for lack of a better word we put in a performance that regardless of the result they're going to appreciate that because that's what this community is all about it's a hard-working community it's an honest community and we know that we have to respect that with the product that we put on the field and at the end of the day if we do that they'll they'll keep coming back and and then it's on our it's our job to, to kind of make the product a little nicer and get the results and and do show that little respect to them kyle you're a true leader you're a true captain i know talking about yourself is one of your least favorite things in the world but we appreciate you making a little bit of time for today it's an incredible accomplishment 100 caps the first cpl player to do it it's a piece of history that you'll always earn or always own and it's very well deserved so thank you very much for your time and i look forward to doing this again for kyle becker 200 Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. Kyle Becker, the captain of Forge FC. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. While you're here, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you never miss a moment or action in the Canadian Premier League in the world.